Hey everyone. So, um, I know that I haven't, I haven't done a video in like two months, maybe more. Sorry. But I haven't really been up to much. Like, I don't know. I kind of just do. I don't know. I take care of kids clean house and cook and my life is not that exciting but but I'm gonna show you the hauls that I did um, over the past two months okay so don't think that it's like oh you know all right now no this is like from the past two months so yeah okay so I am a thrift store shopper and I love thrift store stuff and especially stuff that's vintage that's like from the 50s, um, anything housewife, anything prep, anything like that, you know, I just, I love it, I love it, I love it. And I found this clutch. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's beautiful. And it's embroidered right here. Okay, and you lift it up. And it's huge, like, huge. It's huge for a clutch. And you lift it up. And it has... Actually, it has, I don't know if you can see, it has two pockets. It has a zipper, this pocket, and then this pocket. And I love it. And I only paid $2.99 for it, so I was excited. Now I got this one. This one, um, this one reminds me of, like, those, um, I want to say, like, in the 70s or the 80s, those women that were, like, blonde with big poofy hair, and they had heels and, like, like super, you know, skin-tight dresses. This reminds me of the kind of bag that they would have with them. So, yeah, I got this one. This one I paid $3.99 for. Tina has that. But I was upset because right here, I don't know if you can see, this is pleather. It's, like, totally fake. So... They had the Goodwill sticker that said um, $3.99 right here, and when I peeled it off carefully, it took the pleather off. I was like, no, but it's okay, it's so cute. Okay, so I placed an order um, through Beautylish, and I used a firm. And this is the first time that I have ever, 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 ever um, placed an order for high-end products, like where I buy it, you know? Um, like, I have... The Naked 3 palette, my cousin bought it for me. I have one of the Too Faced palettes, and I got it in a trade. So I don't really, like, I'm not able to buy myself stuff like that. But I did, they, um, a firm has this payment plan where you pay over three months. So it's like, my order only comes out to, like, 20-something dollars for what I ordered. So I ordered this. It's the Tamana palette. Um... These palettes, they're by um, Anastasia Beverly Hills, and they have, um, they're like by these famous um, makeup artists. So basically the palette comes with all these looks that you can do. Okay, now which one did I do? I did this one. I did this one today, but I didn't do the blue under. See, I don't know if you can see right there. It says it shows like that they do the blue. I didn't do that. I did a brown under. So I did this look, and it shows you like step by step. You know how to do it, and it comes with five looks that you can do. And here is the palette, okay? And it comes with oh no, oh well, okay, I dropped it. But it's like similar to the naked palette because it has a. Um, like a, like a buffer, a crease brush on one side, and then on the other side it's the eyeshadow brush. But basically, it looks like this. Look at all those pretty colors. And this palette um, retails for $29. Normally, I wouldn't do this, but like I said, I think I deserved it. So, And then I got two Too Faced, um, they're called La, Cre La Creme. Uh, color drenched lip creams and I got one in marshmallow bunny and then the other one in juicy melon I'm wearing the marshmallow bunny right now see mm -hmm. see so that's this and these tubes oh my goodness like it's a major upgrade from wet and wild because <laughs> it's like what I'm used to wet and wild you know I can't really spoil myself but I feel like royalty using this tube it's like and it's not even like normal golden tubes. It's like heavy duty feeling. It feels so nice and so rich and it's just amazing. 
So yeah, so then this one is the Marshmallow Bunny. And... I'm watching my novella, sorry. <laughs> I have to kind of glance to see what's going on, who killed who, and you know, all that. Who's cheating on who. And then this one is Juicy Melon. This one I haven't tried yet, but I really, really love this one. And I'll probably... After I make my payments, or after my husband makes my payments, because my husband owes me, um, I'll probably buy a backup of this one because I, I really like that color. Okay, so that's what I ordered from Beautylish, and that's the the high-end, the high-end, uh, like, haul that I did. So then the last one that I did was from uh, BH Cosmetics. I always do hauls from them because I love their palettes. And it, I'm just absolutely ridiculous. Um, I got these two colors because I needed like two more dollars to complete for the free shipping. So I got a green color and a like an orangey reddish color and they're matte. And this one is, if you want to know, it's from the Cool Matte series and it's number 17. And then this one is from the Warm Matte series and it's number 2. So those are the ones that I got. Then I got the Take Me to Brazil palette. Oh, I love this palette. It's so pretty. And the colors show up exactly how they look. Like, you use um, primer on your lids, and then you put, like, you want to do a yellow. Guys, it shows up that yellow. Maybe it's just me because I'm super white and it just shows up, but it shows up that yellow. So, yeah. So And then it comes with, like... A white and then a black on here and I don't know I this is like my favorite palette ever I always reach for it and I don't care if it's fall now I'm still gonna reach for it and I'm still gonna be colorful and I'm still gonna be me okay so then I got the eyes on the 80s palette this one I I like it because even if I didn't get the take me to Brazil palette it still has like bright colors on top and then it has like normal colors on the bottom like browns and grays and blues and stuff like that so there's that one. And the packaging is really cute. See? Let me close it. I just don't like this. This thing. Like my, my eyes on the 60s palette has it too. And like I I don't know. I wish that it had like plastic on here and not over the things. I don't know. It just it gets in my way. So there's that one. Then I got the eyes on the 70s palette. This one I like better than the 80s palette. So, here are the colors. This is the top, right here. Here are the colors. And this one, they would be good for fall, you know. And, yeah, there they are. In all their glory. And then the last palette that I got was the BH, the Party Girl Limited Edition palette. Now, this one I wasn't, like, too impressed with. I saw it. And I was like, okay, I need one more palette to almost get to 50, you know. And I told my husband, which one do you think would suit me out of the ones that I don't have yet? And he was like, get that one. I wanted the, the Party Girls After Hours. Uh, yeah, the After Hour one that they just came out with. But it had too many blues. And I have, like, a lot of blues. So, <coughs> and I figured, well, this one is good because it's limited edition. So I guess I can just pick it up. The only thing that's bad about this palette is that it doesn't have a mirror. But here are the colors. I've used it a few times, but I don't, like, really reach for it. So, yeah. But, yeah, there they are. Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> I'm a geek. <laughs> yeah, so that was my, my haul over, like, the past two months. And actually, no, I'm lying because I still have some Wet n Wild palettes that came out for the fall, but I don't know where they are. Oh, yes, I do, but I don't. Eh, it's okay. I'll show those later. All right, then. Well, yeah. That's what I've been up to. Yep. <laughs> so I hope that everyone has a great weekend because it's Friday and most people would be like super excited that it's Friday but <clears throat> I'm a stay at home mom so I guess every day is, is every day is like the same I don't know so yeah see you later bye